this is the, the reason most people come to play golf here. You don't feel really uh, human. You know? Hello, here I am on the second day of the uh, Regnum Golf Country Club near Bodrum. I'm here on one of two large putting greens. Uh, there's also a separate um, pitching area back there. Today I will um, play the back nine and uh, give you some impressions uh, of that area as well. Today it's not quite as sunny as the other day when I was here, but you should get some nice drone shots, some nice images. Maybe I can find out the concept of this um, area here, of this development, which looks really like a, um, a settlement, like a village, like a gated community with a golf course in the middle of a quite untouched and forested landscape with a few, not many, scattered farms uh, in the area, many pine trees and many olive trees. Are you the head coach? I'm the head coach uh, at the moment. Sort of for someone from outside, uh, a tourist or someone who comes in with a cruise boat, as you say, what is the special characteristic of this golf course? What makes this special? I believe um, the location and uh, hospitality and, uh, as you said, um, it's a very good landscape. And plus, and it's 18 holes golf course. And the course yeah. itself, I mean, the layout fits to every every kind of level of player. So, mm -hmm. if you want to have a more challenge, you can play from the back tees. You know, make the course longer. And if you wish to have a you know good round and make yourself happy, you can go a little forward tee. Still, you can. Okay, so, so the design is not to frustrate no, tourists. No, no, no. So you would say, so the good thing about this course, it's good for yes, at every level? Yes, at every level. And um, it's embedded in a um, rolling landscape, in a mountainous landscape. Not huge mountains, but there are hills. We are higher up here, so the air is a lot cooler than down by the sea. Um, you will see a number of villas, of houses, that have been built here in those seven years that this uh, club exists. And you can clearly see construction sites for future buildings that will be put alongside some of the fairways. Some people might not like that so much, but I guess that's the business these days of how good golf clubs can survive, that you also have the houses nearby. From here it's about 20 minutes by car, 30 minutes max, to Bodrum. So if you want to have a city nearby, it's not too far away. You are in a cooler area here, it's quieter. If you have one of those houses, of course, these houses also have swimming pools, as you can see from above. And it seems that most residents here are Turkish people. Um, people from Istanbul like to come to the Bodrum area, especially in the, in the hot summers, and a few um, Europeans as well, but not too many, I've been told. Now here I am on the 10th uh, hole of the uh, Regnum Country Golf Course. Uh, it's a par four, about 360 meters here from the yellow tees. Um, this tee is really far away from the clubhouse and far away from the, uh, from the driving range. So <laughs> you really need a, a buggy to get walk here really takes quite a while. On the other hand, we're really here in nature, there is no villa nearby. And um, I will just let the drone fly here from the 10th tee 
to give you an idea what this hole looks like and follow these two guys who just um, teed off. They are, by the way, from Uzbekistan and they said that there are yeah, a few people from Uzbekistan who have villas here and from Kazakhstan. Now the tricky thing is, uh, if you're slightly to the right, which I was, the uh, fairway sort of slopes, slopes right and you risk that your ball rolls even more to the right and there are red stakes here so the cart path anything to the right of the cart path is a hazard now the 11th hole seems to be a tricky part three because uh, you have these pot bunkers in front then a slight dog leg if you want to stay on the fairway otherwise you can risk hitting over these bushes right onto the green if you <laughs> can carry 150 meters and not have the ball roll because the green looks as if it then tilts towards the back so this is a tricky thing I'll play this safe I guess um, interestingly the Garmin watch says that this is a par 4 so that's clearly wrong and here I am about 30 meters from the flag. The um, green again looks very undulated and I guess if you go a little bit too far then the ball will roll over the back. Um, the layout of the course is really not nice for people who walk the course. From the uh, green of the 11th hole to here the tee off of the 12th hole was at least half a kilometer or more <laughs> took that's the impression that I had coming here with the buggy and uh, on several holes you have these big distances that you have to overcome so a buggy is really uh, quite essential this here is a, a par 4 um, relatively short about 250 meters the Garmin watch however tells me that this is a par three, which is um, not correct. So um, it doesn't really matter, does it? But here on the back nine, I'm missing these nice little signs um, painted on the rock with the uh, more detailed information of the layout of the holes. Well, this is a relatively new course that might explain it. Here you are not in the forest. So if you really hit a very bad shot, your ball might end up in the garden of one of these houses it's probably quite safe to aim slightly to the left of that tree ah there is a nice sign here for the 13th hole a relatively short par four but this looks nice almost <laughs> like an irish farming area especially on a cloudy day like this up there is the clubhouse. The villas here are a little bit farther away. What I like about these fairways is the following. They are regular. They have a firm grass cover and this allows for some roll of the ball. So sometimes you can be happy with your shots. On the other hand, most fairways do have undulations in them or some tricky bunkers, but overall they are quite wide and allow for a nice golf game. As there are not too many people playing here, I'll fly the drone here on this 13th hole. It's nice and green, should look nice. Uh, hole number 14, par 5, a 
Now this hole goes slightly uphill. See, this is a very nice tea box, nice and flat. There to the right, a bunker where you see this buggy and the um, fairway slopes to the right. So again, slicers should not be too happy. Have to keep left. Now the fairway is quite wide, but here to the right, you see the white stakes out of bounds because behind it is one of the water reservoirs, which is now empty because they're cleaning it or removing mud. <laughs> the 15th hole, um, a par four, uphill, and it's called Olive Hill, which is correct because as you can see, there are indeed olive hills. The uh, fairway goes uphill. As you can see, there's another flight in front of me. Uh, the fairway is fairly wide. I guess that tree in the middle is a good aiming point. And the 16th hole is a short par three. But if you don't see the flag from here, I'll show you. So it is downhill, but you have this tree and the hazards in front of you. So um, yeah, I just have to be precise. The flag is probably behind the tree somewhere. There you see the villas and the olive trees. Indeed, this is a nasty water hazard. And that's where my ball landed. Even if you're a tiny bit short, the ball will roll back down into the water. Seventeen, a par four. Hold sixteen and seventeen seem to be the ones where they want you to lose the balls. But I don't quite understand this hole here, because um, at first I thought this might be a, a nasty um, par three over the water here to this green. But then my Garmin watch tells me it's a par four with 300 meters. And uh, so that could be to the left here. And indeed, um, the sign here also see the lake here and this might be this other green that I just showed so this could be um, the par 4 fairway Pine Hill but there is so much rough here and that's a little bit far not really a fairway so I don't quite understand what the idea of this hole is so the orientation of the tee box is a over this non-play zone and into this muddy part where they're probably redoing the fairway. Yeah, this is clearly wrong, I think, uh, because this, what might have been the former fairway, is now um, either being prepared for houses, mm, but here you see pipe endings, so it looks as this will be again a future villa place, and they've changed the part four to uh, a part three over the water. Uh, because here's already the uh, 18th hole, a part four. And indeed, it looks like a long valley. It's downhill, which is always nice. The green is 400 meters away, but there's sort of the cart path and the um, sort of another hazard. So the green is back there. And to the left, you see the pitching and the putting green of the training area. <laughs> Some nasty bunkers in front of the green. I am in one of them. So I need a decent bunker shot to get out of here and onto the green of the 18th hole. Hmm, not too bad. Ah, but these greens are tricky. 
slightly downhill. Mm. Yeah, that was a nice round here on the back nine of this course. Um, that water on the 16th, 17th hole came a bit as a surprise because otherwise there's no really water that bothers you here on this course and um, so it does offer some variety <laughs> and even here you can lose a ball once in a while. So if you are in Bodrum then um, do come by and play here it's quite nice very nice club restaurant also good training facilities and if you actually liked this film then i would appreciate if you could press the like button and if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much and by the way i also have a travel channel gregor's capades with also some images of excursions and other nice places mainly of the antalya region but also a little bit here of Bodrum. So thanks for watching and bye bye.